Good morning guys, uh, again, uh, this is Teacher Cesar and uh, today our topic is all about the mole concept. Okay, so uh, why mole concept? Uh, take note that there are many ways of uh, expressing the quantity of different uh, uh, materials, different substances. Uh, there are uh, different means of uh, expressing the quantity. Just like, for example, if you're going to buy foods in the market, you are going to use different uh, forms of unit. Just like, for example, you're going to buy a pork. So, what will you ask to the... Uh, um, to the person uh, selling the uh, pork, siyempre, sasabihin mo sa kanila magkano ang isang kilo. So, you are using the unit kilograms. Okay. So, yung iba, bigas, ganun din, kilograms. Another, ano pa yung iba? Just like, for example, bibili ka ng tela, so, you are going to use the unit yard. So, what else? You are also using, uh, let's say, uh, uh, different units such as uh, for uh, the uh, the rope you are going to use uh, meters something like that so ang tanong ko dito paano pwede ba nating i-express yung quantity ng iba't ibang substances ng minsan lamang is it possible to express the quantity of uh, uh, different sub uh, substances in just one unit okay so yun ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon okay so, dyan natin i-discuss sa mall concept kung paano para natin bibigyan ng units ang bawat substances. Okay. So, ano ba ang mall concept? Today, I'm going to give you the definition of uh, mall. Mall is uh, the counting unit of atoms and molecules by relating the numbers to mass. Okay. Now, uh, mole also contains uh, the particle 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, it may be in the form of atoms, molecules, ions. Okay, so this uh, figure actually is also known as the Avogadro's number. So this is in behalf of Amedeo Avogadro. Uh, pinangalan sa kanya yung number na ito. But... Uh, uh, hindi siya ang nakadiscover nito no? Merong isang uh, may, uh, there, there is a certain person who was able to discover uh, This figure Okay So uh, The mass of One mole of any substance Is known as the molar mass Okay Kahit anong klaseng substance yan Basta to one mole siya Pare-pareho ang content niya Pare-pareho ang bilang ng kanyang particle which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay. So, just like for example, just like for example, we are going to consider element. Okay. In the form of element, take note that our element have their own atomic weights. Atomic weights. So, we studied or we already discussed about uh, the definition of the atomic weights when we discuss about the periodic table. Okay. And uh, take note that the atomic weight is e expressing or using the unit atomic mass unit. But this is in short, may also be expressed in terms of Grams. Okay. Grams. That's why, kapag halimbawa at uh, tinanong natin ano ang atomic weight ng isang element, just like for example is a uh, hydrogen, uh, if you're going to look at your periodic table, those are what we call now atomic weights. Why? Because atomic weights, take note, this is the average weight of the atoms in a molecule. Okay. Average weight of atoms in or of an element of an element. Okay, so that is atomic weight. In the case of hydrogen, in the case of hydrogen, okay, 
the atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 uh, grams and uh, 1 gram rather 1 gram okay and in that 1 gram this is actually equivalent to its molar mass this is also the molar mass of the element okay now in short the atomic weight also expresses the molar mass of the substance okay let us try to take for example is uh, carbon okay carbon carbon let's consider the the atomic weight of carbon that is uh, 12 grams in that 12 grams that is equivalent to one mole of that substance okay and since that is one mole it actually indicates that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd since the particle of element is called atom then this is what we call now atoms there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms in 12 grams in 12 grams of carbon okay another example Another example is oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic weight of 16 grams. Okay. So, that 16 grams is equivalent to 1 mole of oxygen. And that 16 gram is also equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Okay, so uh, that is clear. And another example, let us consider also a metallic element. Just like, for example, is iron. Iron has an atomic weight of 54 grams. And in that 54 grams, we have one mole of that element or iron. And in that one mole of iron, it has a particle of or particles of 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Okay. So, ganyan i-compute ang molar mass. And take note since this 16 gram is or this uh, atomic weight is also equivalent to 1 gram of uh, of elements of those are uh, that specific element that means to say that may be expressed also as 12 grams per mole that's why carbon may be expressed as 12 grams per mole for oxygen we have 16 grams per mole and iron we have 54 grams per mole and we are now referring to their molar masses molar masses okay so that is the meaning of a molar mass. Okay, now let us consider the molar masses of compounds. We are done with the elements and this time let's try to move on the next, uh, the other side of uh, the whiteboard. Okay guys, uh, bear with me. May you uh, malikot ang ating camera. Okay. Okay. So, let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. So, just the same, if uh, the atomic weight of the element is also the molar mass of the element, then the molecular masses, the formula masses of the, uh, the compound, they are also considered as their molar masses. Okay. Let us try to consider the, uh, the molecular mass or the molecular masses of the substance. Okay. Molecular mass. Okay. So when we say 
molecular mass, that is also the same as the molecular weight. Molecular weight. Take note that weight and mass in chemistry ha uh, has no difference. Since we are dealing with minute things, since we are dealing, dealing with the uh, atoms, small particles, the difference between the weight and the mass is negligible. Okay, now let's try to uh, give a definition of this molecular mass. It refers to the mass of a covalently bonded compound. Mass of covalently bonded compounds. Okay, so let us try to have examples. Let's consider carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Okay, carbon dioxide is a formula of CO2. CO2. Now, Paano natin i-compute ang molecular mass ito? First of all, you have to write the uh, elements that constitute the compound. We have carbon and oxygen. And then, bilangin natin kung ilan ang atoms sa formula. Okay, ang carbon, if you're going to look at it, meron lang isang atom. And then, ang oxygen, meron dalawang atoms. And then, after that, you have to look at the periodic table. Find out. Their atomic weights. Okay. For carbon, if you're going to look at your periodic table of elements, then ang carbon ay 12 grams per mole. So, we're now going to use the unit gram per mole. Okay. Take note that the mole is being represented by N. Okay. Pag nabasa nyo ang small letter N, it refers to the number of mole. Okay. Now, for oxygen, we have two atoms. Let us multiply this by the atomic weight of oxygen that is 16 grams per mole. Alright. Then let's try to compute the products of each element. Okay. You have now 12 grams per mole. And then you have here 32 grams per mole. Take the sum of this, you have now 44 grams per mole. And this is now known as the molecular mass. Okay, this is now the molecular mass of the substance. Alright, then let's try to take another example. Let's try to take another example. Let us consider sucrose. Okay. Sucrose. Or, let's consider glucose, rather. Glucose. Okay. Glucose has a formula of C6H12O6. Right. So, the same process... Kailangan isulat niyo muna yung mga elemental composition niya. We have carbon. There are how many atoms? We have six atoms. Next, we have also hydrogen. We have 12 atoms. And next, we have also oxygen. We have six atoms. And then, uh, let us multiply them with their respective atomic weights. Sa carbon, we have 12 grams per mole and then ang hydrogen you have 1 gram per mole ang oxygen we have 16 grams per mole and then let us find out the products of each element you have here uh, for uh, for carbon you have 72 grams per mole and for hydrogen, you have 12 grams per mole. And for oxygen, you have 96 grams per mole. Okay. 
take the total of this, and then you have now 180 grams per mole. And this is now what you call the molecular mass or the molecular weight of glucose. Okay, that's it. Now, this time let us try to uh, consider another example. Uh, here, what we consider as an example are those compounds that are covalently bonded. Okay. Now, let us try to consider uh, other examples that usually becomes ionic when they are in their aqueous form. Okay. So, uh, the mass of uh, those substances that are ionically bonded is what we call now the formula mass. Although, uh, the concept of uh, uh, the terms are the same, but usually we refer to the mass of ionic uh, ionic substances as for a formula mass or formula weight. Let us try to take example of this. Okay. So formula mass. Or this is also known as formula weight. So usually this term is being referred to the mass of ionic substances or compound. Okay, let's try an example of this. Let us try to uh, have an example. This one, for example, is sodium chloride. Okay, sodium chloride has a chemical formula of NaCl. The same process. You are going to write the uh, uh, component of the, uh, the compound by element. We have Na, the sodium, we have also chlorine, and find out how many atoms are in the formula. Just like for example in the case of sodium, you have only one atom. And for chlorine, you have only one atom. Okay, multiply them with their respective atomic weights. In the case of sodium, in the case of sodium, uh, you have we have 23 grams per mole, 23 grams per mole as its atomic weight. And then in the case of chlorine, we have 35 grams per mole. So take note, these values can be seen from your, ato, uh, from your periodic table of elements. So tingnan lang yung, uh, yung periodic table of elements, hanapin ang sodium. Makikita nyo ang kanyang atomic weights, ganun din ang chlorine. Okay, now let's try to find out the product. We have now 23 grams per mole. And then for chlorine, you have 35 grams per mole. And then you get the sum and you will have now 58 grams per mole. This time, uh, the proper term to refer on this mass of the substance is what we call now the formula weight or formula mass okay formula mass of the substance so this is now the formula mass of sodium chloride okay now let's try to take another example last example okay this time I would like to give you a basic substance a basic substance and a little, uh, uh, a little, uh, a little of uh, complexity. Let us try to consider uh, calcium hydroxide. Okay, calcium hydroxide has a chemical formula of CaOH. Close and open parenthesis. 
with a substring of 2. Okay. Now, this time, the same procedure. All you have to do is to write the elements that makes up the formula. You have calcium and then you have also oxygen. You have also hydrogen. Okay. Next to that, you have to write the number of atoms. Take note that the hydroxide uh, group of this is being used twice as expressed by each subscript. That's why each element inside the parenthesis must be multiplied by 2 to find out the total number of atoms in the molecule. Okay. Now, for calcium, we have only one atom. And for oxygen, you have two. Okay. And for hydrogen, you have also two atoms. Alright. Now, multiply them with their respective atomic weights. Just like, for example, for calcium, you have 40 grams per mole. And oxygen, you have uh, 16 grams per mole. And for hydrogen, you have also multiply. You have to multiply that also with one gram per mole, which is its atomic weight. All right. So let's try to find out the products of this. You have now for cal uh, for calcium, you have forty grams per mole, and then for oxygen, you have thirty-two grams per mole, and for hydrogen, you have 2 grams per mole. You have to get the sum of those uh, products to give you now the formula mass of calcium hydroxide. Okay. So, you have a total of 74 grams per mole. Grams per mole. Okay. That's it. This is the formula mass of Sodium hydroxide. Okay, so that's how to compute the the molar masses of different substances. Always remember to make to summarize this uh, topic. Always consider the atomic weight, the atomic weight or atomic mass, the molecular weight, the molecular. Weight, as well as the formula mass or formula weight or formula weight they are all the same with the molar the same with the molar mass of the substance Okay. Okay. So that uh, that's it, guys. And uh, well, I hope I was able to give you uh, an idea how to compute the molar mass or molar masses of the substance. Thank you, and uh, uh, anticipate for the next video, which is also under the mole concept, and that is how to calculate the number of mole of substance so if uh, this video helped you was able to help you please subscribe no please subscribe so that you can receive another uh, video of uh, our uh, discussion thank you and god bless